Hey guys, in this video I will be talking about saving and loading stuff in Unity. So to load stuff in Unity you have to use a function called player prefs. You can use it for all sorts of stuff like uh, saving experience and positions of things and names, strings, all sorts of stuff. And basically how this player prefs thing works is by setting and getting different sorts of values. And you do that by using one of the functions that are in the player prefs class in Unity Engine, but yeah, it's just by typing player prefs and then you can say dot set float or anything. So set float or set int basically uh, works by you set a value to a key. And the key is basically for so you can retrieve the value again so you can find it again and get it. Okay, so that is basically how it works. Uh, so you use keys to identify what you just saved and use key to identify them to get them again and apply them to a variable. So let's just look at some examples here. Um, so I've created a scene, pretty simple. We have a save manager script. I'm going to look in it in a moment, but when I play, press play here, uh, we can see we have a save, load, increase score, decrease score, wipe, save data. That should be, but it isn't. And a string and a score label here. So basically, we can increase the score and decrease the score. Okay? But we can't save and load yet. And we can also, of course, move the cube around in the scene. And we will also be saving its position. But we can save and move around again and load and set it back to the saved state. So let's add some functionality. So let's look at the script. So basically I've set up some buttons right here, as you saw. Uh, the basic, I'm saying basically all the time, but they, uh, you know, they call some functions right here, called save stuff and load stuff, and also delete save data. We will also be looking into that, which is really simple. But uh, we're going to save uh, floats, uh, integers, and strings, which is the only things you can save with this. You can base, you can use it to everything. Okay. So first off, we will look at saving. Maybe let's just say saving the score. So to do that, we want to say use the function player prefs like that, and then say dot set int. So this is basically how we set and save store the data. 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 And then you have to assign the key. So the key is probably going to be for score. Score. So you can get the score again. And for the value we have to put in the score value which is this right here. Okay. Score. So you can use this in all sorts of scenarios that you have. So you can save maybe some experience or other stuff. So now we have set the integer score to a key called score. But we, uh, we haven't loaded it yet. So let's just look at how to do that. And to do that, uh, when we press load stuff, we want to set the score this right here to player prefs dot get int okay and that is going to take the key only or actually it also takes a default value if it doesn't find the key so you can put that in if you want um, I'm not sure if you can see the uh, window right here I'll maybe put a screenshot in but the string or the key should be score because we want to get the score and default value, we don't need that, but let's just say zero if there isn't any, uh, uh, what is it called, a key called score. So now let's just go back into the scene in Unity and check if this works. So we basically had set the integer, so let's increase the score to something like six and press save. And then let's just go out of the scene and press play again and then press load. Here we go, we just uh, saved and loaded some integers. Cool. So 
Now let's just look into saving strings. And basically it works the same way. So just play up refs. Sorry. Dot set string. This will be name because we want to save the name string. And we just set this name for convenience. Well, that makes more sense because we wouldn't call it cow. <laughs> and the value should be name. Okay, so we just saved the name value. And then we want to load it again. So we just say name will be equal to player press dot get string name comma name. No, not that. Default value should be just nothing. Good, so now we can save and load our name. So let's just look into our scene. Here we go. So let's set our name in. My name is my real name is August. Uh you score save and go out and load it again. Here we go. August. Nice. Good, so now let's look into saving the X, Y, and Z positions of the cube. So, which is basically a vector 3, but uh, player press doesn't uh, support saving vector 3s. But what we could do else is basically saving, basically, I'm saying all the time, sorry, is uh, setting the three positions to uh, I, each individual key for x and y and c. So, and the positions of the things, of the transforms position thing, is a float. So each of these things here is a float. Uh, so yeah, we will save three floats. So let's do that. So to save the position of the cube, I have uh, a variable here, which is a transform cube, which is the cube in the scene. And we want to save three values. So we want to save the set, uh, pref.set float. And this will be cube position x, okay? And then cube dot position, and the value should be cube dot position dot x. Nice. So now let's just copy and paste this two times more. Here we go. And it should be x, y, and z. Nice. So now we have saved the floats. Good. Of the, uh, the position. So now let's assign the position to the cube when we want to load. And we can do that by saying cube.position will be equal to player prefs. Uh, no. Actually not. We want to set it to a new vector 3. Okay. Because the position of the cube is a vector 3. It is three axes, x, y, and z. So for x, we want to say player prefs that get float cube position x, and so forth. So let's do that. Ah, there we go. And semicolon, please. Thanks. Good, and cube pose y and c. Good. So now we have basically saved everything and we can load everything. Cool. So let's go into a scene again and look. Let's move the cube around. And please go and save. Go out. And going on load there we go nice my computer is slow so yeah it works oh uh, cool so now let's look into the wipe data uh, where we basically can wipe the data if you want to do so so this basically the function called delete all and then you can also delete key which is uh, deleting a specific a value that you have set. So to do that, we just say player press dot delete all here when we want to delete everything. Good. So, so let's just say 
Stay low. Yeah, it is still saved. So let's press wipe, save, and load. Nothing happens. Now we have wiped the save data. Cool. So that is basically everything that we will do now. But there is another function here called save. So you can uh, write everything to disk here. So you can just look up this if you need that. It is for checkpoints and stuff. Uh, if the application crashes or something, then you will be you will make sure that nothing is lost, no progress or saves are lost. So you can basically save between checkpoints if you want. So look up the documentation. It is uh, really good. Really good. It's really good. It's very nice. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you understood everything. So yeah, have a great day. And goodbye guys.